What's up YouTube? I'm here in Key West. As you guys probably know if you've watched my last couple of videos, I'm here on a family vacation and I'm honestly just having the best time ever. This was literally everything that I needed. The mental reset, the physical reset. Uh, I've been training super hard. We found an awesome gym out here and I've been training with my mom every day. You guys have definitely seen that in my last video. You've probably been watching us in my Instagram stories and everything that we've been getting into and it's just been such a much needed trip here and I'm feeling so great. So, like I said, mentally refreshed, and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for all of your kind words on my last show day video. Honestly, you guys are what keeps me motivated and what keeps me determined in those times where it just feels rough and I sometimes feel defeated in the moment, you know, when you don't place as well as you'd like, and just all of your kind words and your guys' support. I can't thank you guys enough, just from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for being along with me on this journey. And I figured since I had a little bit of downtime right now before we head out to dinner for the night, that I would give you guys just a kind of a little bit of a life update. There have been some recent changes and just some kind of things that I have coming up soon that I wanted to share with you guys since I basically share all of my life with you guys. So first of all, I've gotten some questions on what my competition plans are now that I have the Arnold Australia done and I have the Salt Lake City Pro done. What's next for me? Am I still going to be pursuing that Olympia qualification? Like I said, at the Salt Lake City Pro, uh, in the moment I was feeling a little bit defeated, but I knew that after this vacation I would feel so much more refreshed and I would have that mental reset and I'm already here feeling like I cannot wait to get back on stage again and to continue pursuing that Olympia qualification. If it's in God's will, I will be on that stage and I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that I get there. So what is next for me as far as competition plans go? The next show that I will be prepping for is the Patriots Pro in Las Vegas and that is July 1st. And I have done that show a couple of times already. I love muscle contest shows and I'm so excited for that to be my next show. I'm also considering doing the Vancouver Pro. I've never been to Canada, so that's one reason why I really wanna do it. And it's the weekend right after Patriots. And for me, doing back-to-back -back shows like that where they're one weekend right after the other is something that I find it more enjoyable than stretching shows out across the month or having several weeks in between or things like that. So I'm definitely doing the Patriots Pro and I may jump into the Vancouver Pro one weekend right after that. If you guys are local to Las Vegas or local to Vancouver, let me know. I would love to see you guys and meet you at these shows. So that right now is my current competition plans. And I've been pretty much staying on track for the most part. I've been intuitively eating out here in Key West and enjoying myself in moderation, but making healthy choices 90% of the time. I will get right back at it 100% on prep and on my macros once I get back. Like I said, I feel so mentally and physically refreshed that I'm just so excited and ready to start prep again. The next update that I wanted to give you guys, I've gotten some questions about my ebook, and it is an eight week training guide broken up into two separate phases. It's something I've been working on for quite a while, and I've got some questions for you guys when it was going to be available, and it now is. So I'm so excited to be able to share that with you guys. I will keep the link to download it in the description box below. If you guys have any questions at all, you know you can always ask me. Just leave them in the comment box below and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about it. I believe that it's suited for all training levels. There is a structured cardio regimen in there that I have included based on whatever your goals may be. And believe me, these workouts are hardcore. These are the workouts that I have done throughout my years prepping for shows, whether I'm on season, off season. And so I'm happy to finally be able to share them in a format with you guys that you can follow along with them. Like I said, the link to download the ebook is in the description box below. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. If by chance you've already downloaded it and you're using it already, comment below, let me know what you guys think. You know I love getting your guys' feedback on everything. So please always leave me comments, leave your questions. I'm here to answer them for you guys. The third update that I want to give you guys is a recent change for me. As you guys know, I have been with NLA for her for a couple of years now. I wanted to let you guys know that I am no longer with the company. 
But what I mostly wanted to let you guys know is that absolutely nothing bad happened. Still love everyone that's a part of the team. They were like family to me and they always will be. And I 100% stand behind everything I ever said about the products. Those are the products that I've used over the past four years before I was ever even signed with the company and what I have used to help build my physique into what it is today. And so I 100% stand by everything I ever said about the products because I hope that you guys know by now I would never attach my name to something unless I absolutely loved it and believed in it. However, as I've grown as an individual and as my business has grown and as I continue to see myself growing and where I see my future, um, I didn't necessarily feel like I was growing with the company and so that's something that's really important to me and so I kind of want you guys to think about it as if maybe perhaps you're in a job and your level of expertise grows your experience grows but you don't necessarily feel yourself growing in that position with that company that's sort of how I had felt and so when my contract was up for renewal I had simply just decided that it was in my best interest not to resign like I said the team will always be family to me I I wish everyone the best that is a part of NLA for her and I thank them for all of the opportunities and experiences that they've given to me over the past couple of years and I'm actually very excited to be able to uh, I guess kind of try different products and see what else is out there like I said I've been using these products for so long and they are fantastic but it's definitely exciting to be able to branch out and try some new things so I will definitely keep you guys posted on what I end up trying what I end up loving what I end up not loving and like I said, you guys know that I 100% would never ever attach my name to something unless I absolutely loved it and absolutely believed in it. And so I hope that you guys will understand and respect this decision because you guys know that your support honestly means the world to me. That is going to wrap up these little changes and life updates that I wanted to share with you guys. This is definitely a little bit of a different video, but I felt the need to share this information with you guys, all of these life updates. Like I said, once I get back from my vacation, it is hardcore back on prep for the Patriots Pro. I hope to see many of you guys there and hopefully many of my Canadian subscribers in Vancouver. If any of you guys are doing those shows as well, comment below and let me know. And that is going to wrap up this video. Leave this video a thumbs up on your way out and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for being here guys. Love y'all.